The man accused of shooting and killing Kaylin Gillis, the young woman who was a passenger in an SUV that had mistakenly driven into his driveway, will be back in court tomorrow asking a Supreme Court judge for the chance to post bail. And tonight, first on 13, we've obtained the reasons the DA says Kevin Monaghan should stay in jail. Morris, Chief Assistant District Attorney. When Kevin Monaghan was in court on April 19th, he was sent back to jail without the opportunity to post bail. Monaghan is charged with second degree murder in the shooting death of Kaylin Gillis. News Channel 13 has obtained this copy of the argument the district attorney will make tomorrow morning to keep Monaghan in jail without bail. The hearing tomorrow asks a Supreme Court judge to overrule County Court Judge Adam Michelini, who remanded Monaghan to jail, finding that he was a flight risk based on the seriousness of the allegations. Defense attorney Kurt Mossert said the judge abused his discretion and he should have set a reasonable bail amount, writing to the higher court, even if this court finds that Judge Michelini did not abuse his discretion in finding that Kevin Monaghan poses a risk of flight to evade prosecution, Judge Michelini abused his discretion in failing to select the least restrictive alternative that will reasonably assure the principal's return to court. District Attorney Jordan countered in his written response that he will make in person tomorrow that the judge made exactly the right decision. The decision to remand the defendant was not an abuse of discretion. Jordan continues, the defendant faces a strong likelihood of being sentenced to life in prison. He fired a shotgun at a car that was driving away from the defendant's home, killing Kaylin Gillis. County court exercised its discretion and denied the defendant bail because of the nature of the charges, the use of a firearm, and the harm caused. I will be in Supreme Court Judge Robert Mueller's courtroom tomorrow and will be reporting from Warren County during our evening news.